Hey friends, welcome back for another video. My name is Tanya, for those of you that are new here, and I am a watercolor artist. This weekend is Easter, and I wanted to paint something fun and whimsical for you, so I decided to paint a baby chick. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, to get started, I've got my Arches watercolor paper. I have my Winsor Newton watercolors. I have a couple different size brushes here. I usually use Grumbacher paint brushes, but you can use whatever you have. I have my paper towel, my cup of water, and then I have a pencil and an eraser. All right, so this is a really simple um, painting of a little chick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with just sketching out the little chick, and it's gonna be kind of like an egg shape and you can center it in your page if you want to, doesn't matter. So start out with like a little egg shape. And then bring in his little head a little bit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna carve it out a little bit where the head is. So you started out with an egg shape and now you're just kind of chiseling out where his little head's gonna be. And then you can use your oops, you can use your eraser and you can start erasing the lines that you don't want. And instead of um, wiping it away with your hands because you could get the grease from your fingers onto your paper and also you can smear your pencil, just use an old brush and just get rid of those um, eraser shavings that way. Okay, so um, we chiseled out kind of where his little head's gonna be here and just wanna put in some little legs, not really long, just little sticks, just is very simple, with his little claws. And come in with some wings. And we can always rework this shape uh, with our paint later. So don't worry about it too much at this point. All right, so you should have something that looks like that. Now we're gonna put in, um, actually, you know what? Let's do our little uh, shell first because he's gonna be wearing that little egg shell on his head. So let's go ahead and put in that little egg shell. And you can kind of bring it up a little bit if you want to and just kind of reshape his little head. And you can bring it down on the sides and then give it a couple little cracks in here too, almost like, you know, it was broken. So some little triangles going up. Take your eraser, erase the marks you don't want. Just, you can also at this point lighten up some of your pencil if you want to. I think I'm gonna leave mine pretty dark just so you can see it on camera, but you could definitely go ahead and lighten up some of your marks. All right. So let's go ahead and put little eyes. And now you don't want the eyes too close together because little chicks have them more like spread apart. So you can start out with little circles and then kind of taper them off at the corners here. Like little ovals. And you can make it as big as you want. The bigger um, the eyes, the more of a cartoon figure it will look. If that's the look you're going for. And then his little beak is kind of a little diamond shape, but not too much of a diamond, more of like um, a little curved here. So it's not, the points aren't too much. On the sides, it's a little bit pointy, but on the, um, the top, it's a little bit more round. And you wanna uh, bring it close to the eyes, not, not right in between the eyes, a little bit further down, but definitely in between the eyes. So it looks something like that. And then at this point, just step back and look to see if there's anything you wanna fix. I think I wanna bring the little egg shape down a little bit more on his head here, almost like a little helmet. You can go ahead and fix the little cracks that you made. Um, if you think his little arms need to be a little bit wider, his little, his little wings, you can go ahead and do that, or maybe even his little body. All right, so once again, go ahead and erase what you don't want. All right. 
and then the rest is just paint. So I'm gonna pick up my size 10 paintbrush and I'm just gonna get his little body nice and wet. Now you don't want it over overly saturated. You just wanna look maybe on an angle to see where the glistening of the water is so you know that you're not puddling it too much in one spot. You just want it evenly spread across your page. Make sure you get up into those little cracks of the egg, around his little beak, around the eyes. Make sure you bring it all the way down on the tips of the wings. All right. And if you look at it from an angle, you can see that it's glistening, so you know that you covered the whole um, space that you wanted water. All right, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my cab yellow here. And I've got a little bit on my palette already. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. You can pick up any yellow you want. I, I'm just so happening to use the cad yellow, but you can use whatever yellow. You could even make them a different color. If you wanna be really creative, go ahead and make your little chick any color you want, purple, pink, whatever. I'm just gonna stick with a normal little, normal little chick, nice and yellow. And what I'm doing is I'm going around his body or her body And I'm, I'm almost outlining it. So what I want to do is I want to go around the eyes. I want to go around the edges here. I want to go around the wings, around the beak. I am going to leave some negative space, some white space. Right in the belly area here in the middle, just so it looks a little bit more highlighted. So it gives it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just going under the wings and I'm letting it bleed through. If you feel like some of your water has dried up at this point, go ahead and add a little bit more water. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up um, a brown. You can pick up any brown you want. And I'm just gonna dab it in under his wings, around the little body here, maybe under. Give it a little shadow up by where the egg is, the little shell. And if you think that you've added too much, you could definitely dab it off with your paper towel. I'm going to see how this dries first, and then I'll see if I want to lift up any of it with some water later. But right now, I'm just going to let it dry and do its thing. All right, I'm going to put a little bit under his beak, around his eyes. I'm just dabbing it in, okay? I'm going to go ahead and dry this, and then we'll see where else we need to put some yellow. Okay, he's really cute. I love the way that this dried. This is really, really pretty the way it blended and dried um, together, the yellow and the brown. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add more of that cad yellow. I'm even gonna go on top of where I just added my brown. Just drop it in. Don't go up too much because you wanna leave his little belly mark a little bit, um, a little bit lighter. You can go around his little wings again. Now, I like to have my paintings pop a little bit more. I, I like to add a lot of color to it. If you are not that type of artist and you want to leave him or her a little bit lighter, definitely go for it. You do not have to add the second layer. If you liked the, just the simple one layer um, wash of yellow on your chick, then definitely just leave it alone. I'm going to add a little bit more dimension. That's what I like, but everybody's different. I'm gonna dab in just a little bit more of that yellow around the edges of my chicky. Maybe around his little face again. And you don't have to cover the whole thing. I'm leaving a little bit of white space here and there just to give it a little bit of a highlight. Bring it down a little bit. That's cute. All right, I think I need a little bit more yellow in this area. The beauty of watercolor is you just kind of drop in your color and you just let the water and the paint merge together 
and flow however they want. So it's kind of like a nice surprise at the end. You don't really know what you're gonna get. Cause I've painted with oils and I've painted with watercolor um, acrylics and where you put it, you put it. That's where it is, there's no surprise. But I love the surprise of watercolor cause you just dab it in and you just let the water do its thing. And um, it's it's just beautiful. I just love, I just love watching that. All right, I'm gonna dry this one more time and then we're gonna start on his little eyes. Okay, so I'm going to take a smaller brush. I believe this is a number two. And I'm going to dip it in um, some Payne's Gray or black, whatever. If you want him to have blue eyes, green eyes, whatever. I'm just going to stick with like a Payne's Gray black color. And you're just going to want to, first you want to make sure that your chick is nice and dry because you don't want this to bleed through to the yellow. But you're going to go around the little eyes. You're going to leave some negative space there for a highlight. So first go around and just kind of close it in a little bit. Start with the outline, close it in a little bit, leave a little bit of negative space right in the middle so it's a little highlight. Get the shape that you want. Do the same thing to the other eye. So you're going to start with like a little outline and just start closing it in. And you're going to leave a little bit of white space in the middle for a highlight. Make sure your eyes are nice and round, tapered a little bit towards the, the back here. And you can always close in as much white space as you want. Um, but it's harder to um, it's harder to get back that that negative space once you're uh, once you lay it down. It's hard to get back that nice white. So leave a little highlight and just kind of close it in slowly till you get that little highlight that you like. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of orange, orangish yellow. I'm making a little mixture here. Doesn't matter what you use, and I'm going to start filling in the little beak. And here again, you might want to leave a little bit of highlight, maybe more towards the middle of the beak or one of the sides, depending where your light source is coming from. All right, and I'm going to add a little bit of brown to that just to give it a little bit of dimension. And here again, if you think it's too much of a white space and it looks really funny, just start slowly closing it in. So you get the, the amount of white negative space you want showing. All right, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my Payne's Gray and uh, Brown mixture, and we're just gonna go over the little legs here. They're like little sticks. And then don't forget the little claws. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a simple little painting, whimsical little painting. It does, it's not gonna be realistic. All right, and then if you want, with that same mixture, you can start going in under his little belly a little bit here, maybe under his little wings, and just start adding some dimension, some shadow. And I'm gonna move to, let's see, I'm gonna move to my number five brush, and I'm gonna just dab that in, because I don't want it to be a, a stark line like that, I want it to be blended in with the little body here. So maybe move to a bigger brush. And here again, I'm gonna go under the other wing, up this little side of the body, Take some water, bleed it in. I'm just kind of pouncing my brush a little bit till I get that, that look that I want. And you can keep adding more. It's easier to add, to add your paint slowly because then you get the right amount that you're looking for. If you just add it in all at once, it might be too dark. It might, you know, you might have too much paint on there and then it's a little bit harder to get rid of. So just slowly add some paint and you're gonna start getting that little dimension there. I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow under the, um, the shell here, the egg shell. 
So it's like it's a little shadow. Don't forget to go up those little cracks that you made. You can bring it down a little bit around his eyes. And if you want to go around the beak a little bit, bring it down. Just make sure you're blending it in nicely with some water so you don't have any stark lines. Okay. And then just kind of step back for a minute and see where you think you need some more shadow. Um, I think I'm going to give him a little bit more shadow under the shell a little bit. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow on the beak, just on one side. And then maybe up the wings a little bit, just a little bit. Blend that in so it's not a stark line. If you feel you need to add a little bit more yellow in certain areas, definitely go for it. I'll add a little bit more yellow up here, kind of on my shadowed areas. Oh, he's looking really cute. I think I'm gonna put a little more yellow under the um, eyes and the nose, or the beak, I should say. Blend that out. Super, super cute. All right, I am gonna go ahead and um, go over the little legs again. I want the legs to be a little bit deeper. So I'm just gonna do a mixture of my brown and my Payne's Gray. I'm coming in with a size number two and I'm just going up, I'm barely touching. And if your chick is still wet here and it bleeds, the legs bleed, that's actually a really nice look. My chick must be so dry right now that it's not bleeding into it. But if yours is still a little bit wet and it is bleeding into the body, that's beautiful. Just leave it alone. It's gorgeous. My little body happens to be dry, so it's unfortunately not doing that. But that would be a really nice look. I'm just going to go in and put a little more shadow under this little shell here. And maybe a little bit more shadow under the wings. Maybe a little broken up line here. And then maybe a little bit more shadow on the beak, on one side. Okay. I'm gonna go and add a little bit of water under the wing here, just so it bleeds in a little bit. I don't want it to be too stark of a line. Really, really, really cute. He's so cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dry him and then I'm gonna start on the little eggshell. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my size seven and I'm gonna do the same thing we did with the little body. I'm gonna add water to it. Make sure your chicken, your little chick is nice and dry. Otherwise your egg will be bleeding into the little head there. Just add water all over that little eggshell. You can pick up any color you want. I think I'm gonna stick with some blues and purples. So any color you want. I'm just gonna pick up, I've got a bunch of paint already on my palette here. I don't even know what paint this was, but I've got blues and purples and pinks. So I think that's what I'm going to use. So just like the body, you're going to want to just tap it in more towards the outline of the shell. Because you're going to here again want to leave the middle part highlighted with some negative white space. Let it just bleed in because you want to have that be three-dimensional also. See how your chick, your little chick looks three-dimensional because you left that white space there. White space is the key to get three-dimension. So you're going to do the same thing on the eggshell up here. And if at this point you want to add in a little bit of purple or pink, 
You could do red, green, whatever you want. Okay, super, super cute. All right, I am going to um, go ahead and dry that, and then we're gonna add a little detail. And we're actually, you know what? We might actually even put some little flowers in his, on, um, on the shell too, that'd be so cute. Okay, so you know me, this is not dark enough for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add another little layer of the same colors. If you liked it nice and light like that, definitely leave it alone. Me, I just can't leave things alone. I'm always adding more paint. I don't know if that's one of my downfalls or what, but I just like things to pop a little bit more. And I'll go in and add just a little bit of pink here. No, I don't want to add too much pink because I would do want to put some flowers around this little shell. So just a little bit like that. Okay, so cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this once again and then we're gonna add some flowers. Right. So just make sure it's nice and dry, otherwise your flowers will bleed in with the, um, with the shell. Pick up any color you want. Um, I think I'm gonna do more like that pinky. I think I've got some Daniel Smith Opera Pink here. Um, I think I've got this like purple. I think this is called Purple Lake, this one here. I don't know, just whatever you have, it doesn't matter. And you know what? Actually, I wanna add a little bit of purple to that too. Ooh, that was very vibrant. Some colors are a little bit more vibrant than others on your palette. That's okay, you'll get to learn which ones are a little bit more, have a little bit more pigment to them. All right, so I'm gonna do like a little crown of flowers here, and I have my number two. And we're just gonna do some generic little flowers, kind of have it bleed off, kind of have it just bleed off the sides here of the, of the eggshell. And I'm just going in like a spiral motion. These are just gonna be generic little flowers. I'm going in a spiral broken up motion. It's just kind of dabbing it on. Pick up a little bit more. So it could be like little roses or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But see how I'm leaving some negative space there? So I'm going in a spiral, but I'm tapping it. As I'm going in a spiral, I'm tapping my brush. Tap, 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 tap. And you get that little look like that. So it's a broken up line. A spiral, but broken up. Oh, is that cute? And you might have, since it's going around his little head, have a couple that look like they're like starting to go around that you can see a few peeking out the back there. Just a little bit, it gives it a little bit more dimension. Otherwise it looks too flat. Oh, is that cute? All right, I think I actually wanna add one to the ground here, like maybe one fell off his head or something. So you don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I'm gonna do the same thing. Spiral motion, but broken up line. I don't want it too big because I wanna keep it almost the same size as that, maybe just a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to add a little bit of my opera pink to that. Give it a little bit more of a pinky. Oh, is that cute? Oh, I love it. All right. Just sit back for a second and see where you think you want more. Sometimes you have to just sit back or stand back and just look at the painting as a whole. Otherwise you get too wrapped up in like the one little section you're doing. You have to kind of just step back, look at it and just see where you need more. I think I'm gonna add some greens to this now. I'm just gonna show you. So I'm just taking a little of my, my sap green. I have a little section here. I should really clean off my palette, but I don't. I usually end up blending them all together. And I'm gonna add a little green here, a couple little leaves coming out just generic little leaves. And if your flowers are still wet, it's okay. They can bleed together. It's no big deal. It actually looks really nice when they do bleed together. That's the beauty of watercolor. Like I was saying before, it's almost like a little surprise how your painting's gonna turn out. I think I'm gonna add a little green down here too. Maybe another one this way.
so cute. Oh my gosh. You can give these away. You can frame them. You can turn them into little cards, whatever you want. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dry the little flowers and see if we need to add another little layer to it. Okay, so I think this one down here is a nice and vibrant, but I want to make those up there a little bit more vibrant. So I'm just going to pick up that color again. I'm not going to go around the whole flower. I'm just going to probably tap it in more just towards the middle, the center of the flower, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I'm going to leave it alone. If you think that you need a little bit more shadow in certain areas, like I could actually come in and deepen up under his little um, the eggshell again. Bring in maybe a little bit more shadow. If you want to add a couple more cracks, you want to make the, sh the, the egg look a little bit more jaggedy, you could definitely do that. So now's the time to just kind of clean up your painting a little bit. Add a little bit more um, detail. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow. I'm going to take... Um, my bigger brush again and maybe just any color you want I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow under here just a little bit of a wash just under his body be careful not to go on your flower there because your flower is still wet and I'm just adding a little bit of shadow under him and shadow under the flower too just don't go on the flower that's all Oh my gosh, is he cute? Or she. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think I might give this to somebody. All right, well, there you go. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little something. And if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and you can make a comment in the comment section. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you want more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.